Osama, and today I'm going to talk about Bashir's house. Anyone of you who has lived in a Bashir's house? Let me see hands. A Bashir's house, those of you who are unaware of this concept, a Bashir's house is a house where unmarried students or unmarried people who are working there, uh, particularly late boys. So it's called, in, in Turkish they call it Bekhare. Bekhat. Bekhat. Okay, anyways. Or, or NGF for that matter. So I have been living in a bachelor's house for three years. And living there for three years has taught me the purpose of life. The purpose of life I have learned from living in a bachelor's house is to minimize the amount of work we can do and still survive. <laughs> For example, if I'm hungry and the food is here and the dishes are in the kitchen, I'm going to sleep hungry. No need to eat. <laughs> or for example, I'm in my room and it's cold and the window in the room is open, but it's on the other wall. Tomorrow I will eat medicines, no problem. What's, what's the worst that can happen? You know, I will get sick, no problem. So living in the house, as in any house, requires three things you need to be master of. First thing is food, uh, second is cleaning the house, and third thing is clothing and laundry. Let's start with food. You know, living in a bachelor house makes you very lazy. So it affects on our food habits also. Like if you come to my house and you leave diamond, gold, silver, check of a million dollars, no one is going to touch it for years. Try leaving six bananas. In my kitchen, try leaving six bananas. Within seconds, my housemates will come, banana? Banana in the house? Bachelors love eating banana. Do you know why? Because it's such an easy food to eat. <laughs> to eat grapes, to eat grapes, you need water, bowl, you wash them, and put them on a plate, eat them. To, to eat orange, you first take out its cloths, then under cloths, and then eat it. To eat pomegranate, nar, you need industrial equipment, skilled labor. It's very hard to... But to eat banana, you need banana. You don't need water to clean it because it comes in protective shielding. You don't need teeth. Even old people can eat it. You don't need to evolve. Even monkeys can eat it. <laughs> banana is the reason I really started believing in theory of evolution. You know, I was like, no, there's no evolution. And then I see monkeys eating bananas like, yeah, theory of evolution is true. But on the other hand, uh, a fruit that bachelors hate eating is pomegranate. You know, if, uh, you, if a bachelor is dying of hunger, you give him a pomegranate and knife, he will give, kill himself. <laughs> but won't bother opening this fruit. Because you know, once we bought eight pomegranates, eight, two or three cages, put them in a refrigerator. I swear to God, it stayed there for two months until the smell was overwhelming in the kitchen and then I closed my nose and threw them out. So that's why banana is a blessing. Banana is God, God's gift to mankind. It's a God's gift to mankind, seriously. Because if you put kitchen outside for a night, it goes bad. You put banana for outside for a night, it gets ready. You brought it green, it turned yellow. So it's the amazing. The second thing you learn uh, in bachelor's, uh, living in bachelor's house is cleaning aspect, you know. Uh, cleaning in a bachelor's house, it only happens when you're expecting, expecting guests and particularly female guests. You know? <laughs> so, only then you start cleaning the house and it takes only one hour, only one hour, you're like kitchen, washroom, toilet room and you clean it. And the way we clean it, you know, we just start putting the stuff behind. We don't clean it, you know, you see the stuff, you put it in hand. And after one hour, the house is pretty much clean. At that point of time, we're like, my mom spends whole day cleaning the house, which she cleaned yesterday also, which was already clean. It's like, you know, if, if only if she uh, lived in a bachelor's house with all the free time, she could solve the mysteries of universe. I mean, why does she spend so much time cleaning? When the house is clean, you're very happy, you like it. 
you know the smell of detergent that chemical it makes you feel amazing and happy and you're like from now every day every week i'm going to keep my house clean <coughs> promise but within days you know banana peels boxes of pizza and hangers on the floor all over around it gets messy and unorganized again let me ask you how would you enter a house a normal house knock knock enter how would you enter my house knock knock <laughs> like there is a bomb because you know all over the floor there are things garbage and shopper pizza boxes pills of banana so it's very unorganized and messy guys please don't judge me i'm assuming <laughs> the third thing uh, which which is very significant in uh, bashers houses the clothing and laundry how often do you wash your clothes how often do you do laundry Two times. Two times in a week, right? You live with your kids. I do my laundry when I, when you know, all my clothes are dirty. When I'm out of clothes, when I do not have anything to wear, I put them in the machine, and then they stay there in that washing machine for days, you know, and unless my, until my friend housemate has to wash his, so he takes them out put them in the balcony, then they stay there for days, rainfall, snowfall, <laughs> sunlight. They, they see everything, and then he's like, bro, now I need to use balcony, can you take them? Then I take them, put them in my closet, of course, without ironing. So they, then they stay there. And shopping. You guys, you know, there are many ladies here, you, you guys must go for shopping a lot. I only go to shopping when I do not have anything to wear for Toastmasters. So I wear my like dirty clothes till Elsie uh, Bakiki. I go there, <laughs> buy new clothes, wear them, and come here like a gentleman. Yes. <laughs> so so a, a, apart from all these, you know, funny and bad things living in. Basher's house, you know, dealing with your landlord, dealing with your kapuji for that matter. But the experience is amazing, you know. You learn how to run a house. You learn how to manage a house. You learn, it's a leadership uh, prospect uh, in that field. And it makes you a better human. You start uh, missing your family and you start to value them more. You start to value discipline more. You start you start to understand the value of freedom and how can you misuse it. So for me, living three years in a special house was an amazing experience. I hope your experience would have been better. Thank you very much.